Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool array of telephones. These are Mark's telephones from Chicago and this is the initial checkout of these three telephones. Uh, we have two wall phones which are 554's and uh, they are hardwired and uh, Mark's going to put these back into service and he's going to re-hardwire them so that's kind of old school that's pretty cool um, that he's going to put them back into service and he's going to even hardwire them back in to service so that's that's really a neat thing uh, the 500 set has been uh, refurbished probably through the company, the phone company, because it's it's got its 500, but then it's uh, got a little bit extra added to the model number. So uh, at one time this was a hardwired telephone also, but then ended up a modular port type telephone. So it has the modular handset and uh, the modular line cord and so that was uh, refitted, refurbished at one point and uh, there are three cool telephones um, it's, it's just great to see these all together and that he's putting them back into service what we're going to do here is I'm going to kind of show you the 500 set here real quick and as you can see at some point they have done the modular uh, situation and we're going to get him some new uh, some new plugs on this handset cord. Now, this is the initial checkout, but the cord seems to be probably in good shape, and we'll check that out. Here's your handset, but then uh, I want to show you the inside. Now, what they've done here is uh, they've got their port here for the handset cord, and then you have a port here for your line cord that's been added. And I kind of looked them over, and they look machine cut. But there was a pair of uh, nips out there that uh, Vice Grip made for the phone companies, and uh, a lineman could actually uh, go to your home and uh, nip that out and put a uh, a modular uh, situation into your phone, and uh, that's how they kind of retrofitted them at your home. But uh, it's a very cool telephone. It's got the early model. Uh, all three of these phones have the early model network in them, as you can see here, and the early model bells for this period of telephone. And then, you, of course, you can see that they have the um, they have the modular line port here installed, but it's missing its modular uh, port for the handset. So we'll be installing one of them, going through the rotary, cleaning up the telephone a little bit and uh, kind of going from there but uh, that's a that's a really cool desk phone and um, I can see why he wants to put these back into service these are cool telephones and you're never going to get anything like that again they're just not going to make anything we're going to kind of go back over here to the uh, red phone which is a 61 and uh, I'm going to show you here it's got some stickers on there um, we're going to remove the stickers for Mark and get them out of his way. It's got a couple more stickers here, so we'll be getting rid of uh, any stickers that are on these telephones. But this is a, a 61, and as you can see, it has the, uh, to the period, the network, the older style network, and then here's his hardwired situation. I'm going to go ahead and leave those connections on which uh, when they were taken out of service they were snipped and cut off but Mark knows where they go so it, it wouldn't matter if we left them on but just to uh, just to, you know it's not going to hurt a thing because he's going to re-hardwire them in and uh, he's going to take care of the tip and ring on there. has the older style bell and then uh, the older style uh, rotaries in these but I want to swing this around and kind of give you a look at the back of the telephone. 
and uh, of course they're flat because they don't plug in, they hardwire in, so that's cool. And um, I'm going to give you a look at this yellow one here real quick. Of course it has its share of stickers too. <laughs> we'll get rid of them for Mark. Uh, I'm going to go through, he's, uh, I talked to Mark about a little a repair that was done um, on this telephone and he, you know he wanted me to kind of check it out and see what I thought of it. As you can see uh, basically on this red one where your uh, line would stop here, the little protective cover, it only comes out about a quarter inch or maybe a little further and as you can see this one's hanging out a little further but what we might do is secure that in a little further so that uh, there's not a lot of wobbling around and that's not a big issue though and uh, I am going to take a look at that for him and we'll get that squared away and kind of get it more to what your uh, red hand set here looks like where it comes out and ends right there and that's basically what we want here we don't want that pulling out on him so we'll get that squared away for him I'm going to pull the cover here for the yellow one and this yellow one has its share of stickers also so we'll be we'll be getting them off he also had an issue he thought that maybe um, the yellow one was not dialing out properly and it was uh, maybe misdialing some numbers and we're gonna go ahead and check that too now they've got the old connections here where they've been snipped off and we're gonna go ahead and leave them it's not gonna hurt a thing and Mark will take them off when he uh, rewires them, re-hardwires them into service. I have his numbers uh, covered up here. That's his personal information, and um, that's why I have them covered. But I'm going to swing this yellow one around and show that to you. And the thing is, is uh, you can tell somebody had probably a yellow kitchen at one time because you can see the old yellow paint that's pretty cool because you know you can kind of tell the past of this telephone where it was at and uh, we do know now somebody had a yellow room or a yellow kitchen probably a kitchen yellow was big in the kitchens and um, these are very similar phones all of them have the older style network and bell and these things are just built like tanks so I can understand why Mark wants to try to start using these again and, and put them back into service, which is a, a pretty cool thing. Um, we'll get the stickers off of them, get them cleaned up a little bit, go through the rotaries, the bells, check the networks, make sure everything's working, make sure they're uh, going to be a usable telephone, and uh, kind of go from there. But that gives you a little look at... Uh, three very cool Western electric telephones from the past and uh, these are were right at the heart of uh, you know when telephones were made um, you know they were getting very uh, common and everybody had a telephone and they were just made like tanks you know in the old days with the candlesticks and the 202's and the, the old wooden wall telephones you know, a lot of people had telephones then, but, you know, it was, you know, there was a lot of people that didn't. But in this era, where we have this old 500 desk set and these 554s, generally everybody by then had a telephone. And um, these were just uh, really good telephones, and they just lasted forever. So they just need a little bit of care. We'll go through them, get them squared up. And uh, it's just a, a cool thing to see these get be put back into service and uh, being used again. So we'll do another video of these telephones on a final checkout and kind of go through them. And uh, they'll be a little more cleaned up. We'll get the stickers off and stuff and go through that. But uh, three cool Western Electric telephones, two 554s and a retrofitted or refurbished 500 set. And um, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. 
and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. These are Mark's Telephones from Chicago. Thank you for watching and have a great day.